As I have proven, and will continue to prove, when visibility is high without miraging, we see way too far in total contradiction to the globe model. Because of these repeatable observations that anyone can perform, the only counterclaim the globe propagandist has is refraction. As though refraction has this fairy tale property that inexplicably removes all evidence of giant bulges of Earth curvature, the globe claim is patently false. As shown here and in countless examples, refraction is real. It compresses, it stretches, it distorts, it obscures, and mirages. You can see it with your own eyes. But the globe propagandists have hijacked the term refraction and took this observable reality and deceptively changed refraction into an imaginary Earth curvature removing device. In my last video, I shared this footage proving the Earth is flat. The globe horizon was supposed to be closer than 2.3 miles, but the horizon is many miles beyond 11.2 miles. The globe bulge was supposed to be blocking 25 feet of the first turbine and blocking 53 feet of the furthest turbine. Instead, you can see the base of the turbines getting perspectively higher instead of sinking below the supposed earth bulge as the ball would require. The globe propagandist's only counterclaim is that refraction caused the earth bulge to disappear without a trace and then reappear miles beyond 11.2 miles, all without affecting the six turbines in between. I hope you already see that the refraction claim is without merit. I filmed this footage as my wife walked from the top of the beach all the way to the water's edge where she placed a four-foot mirror into the water 6.3 miles away. I filmed her the entire way, but the globe curvature was supposed to be hiding 12 feet. But look at this still from the video. There is absolutely no distortion of the distant shore. But this 12 feet here should be behind the curvature of the Earth like this. Did that 12 feet hop the curvature without causing a cascade of distortion? If 12 feet jumped the curvature, wouldn't it then overlap the 12 feet above it, causing manifest distortion? Are we to believe that every inch up to at least 100 feet uniformly arced perfectly over the curvature to present this flat, non-distorted distant shore? Ridiculous. In this example I shared in my Flat Earth Fact Video 1, the distant shore was 21.03 miles away. You can see the non-distorted distant shore. 223 feet should have been hidden behind the Earth curvature, but none of it is. If 223 feet hopped over the curvature, where is the manifest distortion as that 223 feet would then overlap the 223 feet above it? There is zero evidence of this refraction distortion, and the mountain behind events is the same. At the same spot, I then filmed my friend's laser that should have been 218 feet below the horizon. Not only did I film the bright laser source, but I also filmed the reflection of the laser source on the water, which would have appeared somewhere around here on a ball. Think about that reflection on the water. Bear in mind that the reflection would have been angled away from my point of view, but the giant bulge supposedly just disappeared and everything in the distance wrapped around the earth curvature perfectly to keep the image intact. Furthermore, if that nonsensical refraction event happened, why didn't the bulge itself jump up and still continue to block the laser? How did refraction affect everything but the closer giant bulge, but instead made the bulge disappear? To the honest and reasonable thinking person, the refraction argument of the globe propagandist is utter nonsense and should be shunned as such.